Okay, so these are the silver uh, plates that I am welding a uh, silver rod to. So two pieces of silver and we're welding together because we only want silver to be in the water in the batch of colloidal silver that we're making. So here's the Browns gas torch tip. You can see there. I'm going to light the torch now. My system's up past 10 psi, so we're good. Hang on. Let's bring this into focus. There we go. There's our torch tip. Okay, let's try some welding here. So I'm gonna heat up the, the metal rod itself. I'm trying not to heat the plate. This stuff is super hot though. So I just wanna get the metal rod to melt. Connection there. We got lots of PSI. There, look at that nice bond. God, that's nice. And there's our torch, look at that flame. I love browns, yes. This stuff has serious potential. Look at that laser flame, how much energy's in there. Look at that, that was a beautiful flame. Let's try and get this one welded too. So let's heat up the round, the thicker material first. There we go. Now when I, I don't know, I shut off my torch, I always just uh, turn it back on to make sure it's clear and that there is no flame burning in there of any kind, back flame. Works very nicely though. Browns gas. So this is the technique that we're gonna use for all of the silver plates because now there's uh, there's no need to use anything but silver in the batches. So this is what uh, what it looks like when we're done. You can see that nice bond. Nothing but silver. Okay, let's check these out. You can see. That these are totally. Welded together. And again, silver to silver, no filler rod of any kind, not that it would matter, just no inert gas, no flux, no nothing, just silver to silver, perfect bond, pure. That's what we're going for. So, Brown's gas and silver plates go well together.